brand new shirt doing work in it and it's white. I'll take it off. Right now. Are you a mountain goat? Huh? You don't have to shake, it's okay. Yeah, gotta wait for this to get cool. In this week's episode, we are doing an upgrade that I have been looking forward to for at least a year. Replacing our Dometic refrigeration system and upgrading to the more efficient Technotics Cool Blue Marine refrigeration system. system. Just in. Nice. The plate and the compressor. Merry Christmas. Exciting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what was, uh, what'd you get side railed by? Um, some sailors that just, all I said was high and then it went into a hole, what's your plan for this year? <laughs> <For them. laughs> Sweet couple. They're leaving tomorrow, they're headed to the Bahamas. Uh, okay. What yeah. part of the Bahamas? Well, they were wanting to know where we like to go and where we check in. So I was telling about Gun Key and Andros and I think they're going to check Gun Key out to go spend a few days as soon as they get over there. And then they're going to big service. Okay. We're gonna take it out. Oh. On our new one, it has valves. It has a, a valve. A valve. Because it's already charged. So once we get everything hooked up, then we just open up the valve and it's ready to go. These are quick connects. And so. These are check valves, probably. So it didn't let any. It didn't let any go. Any freon freon out into the atmosphere. Nope. So I took those two shelves out. That's what that looks like, and there's the lines. And now I'll get the rest of this stuff out, so he has a place to work. Okay, five minutes later, we are good to go. That looks fun. <laughs> 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 Feel sorry for that poor fucker that had to put that in. <laughs> I guess when they put it in, they fed all the tubing through that hole in that way. So we got to pull the freezer down out and pull everything back this way if we want to keep it intact. But I think we should. Okay, hopefully I can push it your way. You're going to have to lift and pull out. Does it feel like it's coming your yeah, way? it is. I am the R&D officer on TOVA, research and development. And after researching all of the different refrigeration systems, Technotics Cool Blue System was the winner by far. 
they're easy to install, and where other companies only have a two-year warranty, Cool Blue is the only company that has a five-year warranty. One of the best things on top of all of that is the unit uses half the daily amps of the other 12-volt systems on the market. The owners, Charlie and Rich, are always happy to answer any questions and easy to get a hold of. We are going to see how well we like this system, and then when we haul out next year, we will put in a cool blue freezer unit in our built-in icebox. Right now, we have an Ingle freezer, so that will go away and free up more space in the aft cabin. Today's project is getting our refrigerator, new refrigerator compressor in. So I've got to clear out the garage. Mike's already gotten some stuff out. I've got to clear out the pantry so we can run those lines. and make the boat a mess. And then there's the mountain goat, Archibald. Are you a mountain goat? Huh? You don't have to shake, it's okay. What do you think? I think I'm not gonna have to do much of a bend going up because it's already high enough. I've just gotta bend it in and down, which is good. Oh, watch that. <laughs> So here it is without anything. That's our hole. I need to clean the top. Really clean everything, but. Our next step. I'm gonna carry that out, kind of set it in place to where it needs to be. I'm gonna mark the holes for it so we can secure it. So much coming out of there, isn't it? But it still needs air. Yeah, but there's plenty of room back here. Okay. Because it goes, it opens up. I mean, oh, yeah, it, it does. It needs like three inches of, of clearance. So. That works. There will only be two bins. I'm going to do the hole going this way. And then once we come off the wall, it'll be like a little 45 and then 90 down, down to the plate. The quick connects. Okay, and there's our tubing. Yeah, so you gotta unroll that carefully. That's probably the most sensitive part of the job. <laughs> but it's a good thing about copper is it's, it's a little bit soft. Yeah. You don't wanna like bend a kink in it, but you can kind of make a slow radius without messing it up. And we picked these up yesterday to bend our tubing. We did not have this tool. We used to have a tool like this. I used to have three of them on my work truck. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Where are we starting from? 
you connect it to the unit out there and we feed it through, or you connect it to the I plate. Make, I make my bins for this end, and then we'll feed it through that away. Okay. Here's one. What? Once you bend one of these tubings, that bend ain't coming back out. So that's why you want to make sure that it's right. This is the part that I don't like. <laughs> Are you so tired? Put another compressor in here. Yeah. <laughs> At some point. Can you twist it to rotate it a little bit to the left and push where those connectors go more to the hole? Like that whole unit, twist it to the left? Yeah, probably. And then that way it puts it at an angle? Yeah. You need more. It's good for now. So now we have our shelves back in. That's where the thermostat controller. I've got to seal that hole off. It'll run all there, and there's our unit. It's plugged into low speed for our first time hooking it up. Okay, third speed. I need a 3 16th Allen wrench. I can't remember if I left it out or not. This opens up the valve for the freehold. Well, hope we don't spring a leak. You need a light? No. You mean get you a different Allen wrench? I need to not be standing on my head. You gonna do it from here? Or you want me to slide up here no, and do I it? I just gotta get it on there. Okay, I'm just giving you options. Yeah. You open it all the way? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> get our freezer next year okay, it will set right there it's connected okay the power is connected so I can put power on it this to get cool. 
That is the stainless steel cooling plate, and on the back side are all the copper tubes that the refrigerant runs through. Can I close the door? Yeah. I'm gonna put our little thermostat we have in here. I'm putting this little thermostat, just laying it in here. Thermometer? I mean thermometer, good Lord. It got quieter, did you make it go faster? Uh, Can I close this? Yeah. What'd you do? Me. Uh, do you mean crawl in here and get that? No, come on. This is be tight. What is so funny? Nothing. I don't believe you. You're laughing at something. <laughs> You're just funny. <laughs> well, that would help. Everything wasn't so fucking uncomfortable to get to on a boat. Now to load the refrigerator and get things cleaned up. We will report back on how we like it. But I think it's going to be a nice upgrade and save on power. We put a link to their website down below. We are not sponsored by them. We just like sharing good products we find with other boaters. Thanks so much for watching and hit that subscribe button so we can see you next Thursday. And a special thanks to all of our subscribers who have already done that. It means a lot.